Hey guys, Ella Moorbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Um, I am here today to show you some of my ornate garden suite cards. So I have this, and it's really, sorry, I have this card with you. So I've used ornate garden paper, the ornate frames dies, and the ornate style stamp set with some really simple watercoloring. I saw a very, very similar card um, done by my upline, um, and I have basically cased her card. Why not? Because it was such a beautiful card. So I am going to show you the products I've used, but Facebook have broken our camera reverse and it looks really weird because um, I tried it because this is take three of me trying to go live. Not working today very well, but, but that's okay. It's kind of sort of a public holiday. It is a public holiday today in Australia. It's Anzac Day, uh, which is a day where we celebrate our um, defence forces, our Army, Navy and Air Forces. And um, yeah, we had a very special one this year where we were encouraged to have services in our driveways. So we were appropriately social distance, distanced. And um, I have shared my son playing the last post here on my um, business page as well as my personal page and Instagram because I'm a proud mum. So yeah, thank you guys all for joining me. So ornate style stamp set. Sorry, everything's back to front. Facebook has broken. I have chosen this terracotta tile piece of pattern paper. This is the other side. Not a huge fan of this side. That's fine. I adore this side. So yay for having B sides. And I am going to use the ornate frames. Dies. Um, I'm going to flick you guys around. Oh, thank you, Cindy. We are very proud because he normally um, does uh, the march and service through our, um, in our closest uh, town, we are suburbs of that town. Um, but obviously with everything going on, there is a very large parade or a fairly large parade and he plays with one of the um, brass bands that he plays in. So he was dressed in his uniform at 6am this morning, um, playing beautifully. And because we live in a valley, um, it carried and I've had a lot of feedback that a lot of people heard him and they were moved like I was. So I digress completely. I'm going to flick us around and if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribed and followed my page, especially if you are watching on YouTube because I am trying to grow my following so I can do live videos on YouTube as well as my Facebook page, but I haven't quite um, got enough followers. I'm probably just over halfway there um, over on YouTube. So if you're watching on Facebook and you don't follow me on YouTube, I would love to see you over there because I have released a video on YouTube today um, that will stay over there. So I'll share the link of it over here later tonight, but it is a YouTube only video. So if you're not following me in both places, you're missing out. Okay, flick us around. I'm on a bit of a chitter chat today, apparently. Might be delirium of... I've had a couple of early morning wake-ups this week with things going on. I think I might be having a total lack of sleep. But hey, awesome. That looks straight and fantastic so let me get my second screen up while I go and turn off my light and get rid of my annoying shadows okay 
now making a bit more clomping noise as I walk than normal because I've got brand new shoes and they're really stiff but they're awesome I love new shoes especially when I have special orthotic shoes it's like oh they hold me upright and don't let my feet and legs do what they want to do so let's see who has joined me hello miss cindy hello sue and shannon and jenny hey shelly hey glenda and myrtle delinda patricia and shirley wow got quite a few so far um thank you for the feedback on lachlan he's quite chuffed um he was very impressed with how he went so this is what we're playing with and the paper that we are using for this is our shimmery white paper so when i'm all said and done with this i'll grab a flash um, a torch i do live in australia i don't call it a flashlight um everything is going okay we are still on lockdown nothing's changed i did go to the grocery store very quickly today to grab some anzac biscuits because that is required on anzac day um, in australia and new zealand um and yeah so very early morning wake up but beautiful to know that um other people were up and honoring our servicemen and women so yes hey Teresa hey Sue yeah so our Anzac Day is like your Veterans Day in the US just explaining but isn't your Veterans Day in like November okay so I have made this card with two different card bases I've made it now the color in the um, in the ornate garden suite is bumblebee obviously don't have bumblebee yet because it's a brand new in color so i have used crushed curry i've also used the card base of mint macaron and it didn't quite go as well i mean it looked great but i loved the pop of yellow i think it it just works so let's see what i've got in my paper bag here I have my card base. Ah, it's empty. I don't have my cardstock. How rude. Do you know? Because possibly. okay what I will do because I'm here with my cardstock I thought I was also prepared but apparently not vellum no shimmery white right I don't even think I have not I've got either teeny tiny scraps or this larger scrap yeah, here we go or do you know what do I totally and utterly cheat and use a piece I prepared earlier I'm gonna use a piece I prepared earlier so the other die that I have used on this that I haven't got out but I shall try hello mr. Andre see your gorgeous face two days in a row I hope you had a lovely start to your Anzac Day across the ditch. Yes, I'm sort of getting over it a bit. I was possibly oh, I'm using my box the wrong way around. I was possibly needing to go into my office at work this week because we've had some IT issues with my iPad and my internet provider that we just needed the fullness of time to fix but they miraculously fixed it themselves I'd love to know where this die set is hey 
because it's not where it's meant to be in this box. I have no idea where my stitch rectangles are. <gasps> I know they're in the room. Like, seriously. I know they're in the room. Yeah. Well, I can guarantee you, I have used the stitch rectangles because they were there the other day. Anyway, I will bring this up close and explain. So, this frame here is this frame in the ornate layers and you can use one of two of the stitched rectangle dies so this is the smaller one and you can see all the detail so you can see from the back it doesn't cover any of that detail if you use the next one up it does cover this row of dots and it does partially cover the frame but it looks equally as good. But I wanted to see all the detail in the frame, so I cut it smaller. So there we go. That, and that is going to sit on this beautifully. So I am now going to show you, that's going to annoy me, how I have coloured this in. And it is super duper simple. So the colours that... I want to grab out a crush curry and I'm just following the colors in the in the paper in the paper pack it's got colors and these are the ones I'm following so crush curry terracotta tile um, got to think what else I've used terracotta tile crush curry Ah, old olive and mint macaron and yes there is a fifth color and I shall show you how sorry I just saw my mossy meadow was open so I had to close it um, and I will show you how I did that so just those four colors and I used two of the others two of the other colors to make that Hello and good morning, Miss Nicole. Where did it come from? Where did what come from? This, it was pre-made. Oh, I have golden syrup. Oh, yes. Hey, Linda. Hey, Nick. Hey, Bev. Hey, Donna. Where did what come from? You mean this? I had this pre-made. It was sitting in my use it up box. So I just grabbed it. But I, if you be more specific, I can answer your question. I am doing well. Thank you, Linda. A bit delirious, but I think I'm okay. So, aqua painter with... not. Uh, I do actually want probably my big aqua painter, but that's probably equally as empty. It is. Little aqua painter it is. And we hopefully have enough water. So I'm going to start with my terracotta tile. And I'm going to squeeze the ink pad closed. So the ink transfers from the pad to the base. And you'll understand. Thanks, Julie. So you can see here I have some beautiful ink on the base and I'm going to just add some water yeah. I may even get my sprayer in a sec now add some water and get a nice wash and I'm just going to go into these oh that was maybe a bit too much but you know we'll make it work so I'm just very roughly watercoloring this nothing probably want to touch more of an intense color right that's yeah that's good i do just need a piece of paper towel I'm still being 
super frugal with my paper towel even though there was plenty of paper towel this morning at the shop so I've seen paper towel numerous times this week rather exciting pop that back lid back on I am going to leave this open because I will need it in just a second going to do the same thing with the crushed curry sorry is the little toolbox you had the dies in oh it is a art bin one i got it at my previously local um scrapbook shop that no longer exists so the brand is art bin and i've used it for many years it works for my storage so for this i'm just being really rough I don't want my colouring perfect and yes I am colouring and this is already stuck down but because I knew I was eventually going to colour this piece I did um, I did make sure I had plenty of adhesive so yeah okay so to make our orange flowers I have taken some of our beautiful crushed curry and mixed it in with our terracotta tile to create a whole nother colour. And then I'm just going to go in and colour these in. So I didn't need to open another ink pad and tonally it works because it's the two colours I've already used. Okay, and the one thing I did want to do is just add some of just the straight crushed curry to the flower centres. I wished I didn't add so much water, but they still do get a touch darker and I'll do the same with the terracotta tile with that one. Well, actually, this might be better. I'll do. I'll just see if I can. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so because I have mixed a colour in here, I will just use my paper towel just to wipe up that little mix, and I'm going to leave that colour in the lid. I knew I was going to do that. I could see it happening because, oh, for. La la la, it's going to be a messy day guys, it's going to be a messy day. Right, I'm just going to get some hand sanitizer now before this all goes to have me smearing ink everywhere. Okay, so I'm trying to be stingy with all these things and not being helpful. Right, next I'm going to come in and deal with my leaves. Once again, same aqua painter. I just keep cleaning it off on my... Oh, why did I open that the whole way? Because I'm special. Can someone tell me if the order... Yes, it is a bundle and a sweet. So the I will show you in a sec, Jenny. Hold on. Let me see if I can grab that paperwork. We interrupt this colouring to talk about the ornate garden suite. Okay, so there is a whole suite price, $238. You get for $238, you get two bundles. So the Thanks die and the borders die bundled together. You've got the paper, which is specialty because you get uh, two pieces of gold foil paper. Two, no, four pieces, two each of two designs, and um, the ornate frames and the ornate style stamp set. They bundled together, and you've also got embossing, embossing folder 
ribbons which I've used and the gilded gems so there you go oh <laughs> thanks Susan I am so so special in so many ways that's all I'll say my pleasure Jenny I if you asked someone else would have thought it so I just thought I would do it um uh, Joanne's okay uh, Jennifer Jenny is in Australia so unfortunately we don't have Joanne's very sadly we don't have Joanne's actually or Michael's and I know Spotlight don't carry them because I've never seen them there okay just go in roughly do the leaves now this um, watercolour paper does hold, uh, the, it's not watercolour paper, I lie, it's the shimmery white paper. It is perfect for watercolouring. It holds water really, really well. Look, I did it. Can't take me anywhere today. Like seriously. Lucky I am intending on colouring this background that's all I can say that was that a whole area there <laughs> thanks Jenny love you too I mean my shoes just tell you part of how I'm very special so this is mint macaron and I'm just going in and doing a wash on the background and we're going to ha I diluted that quite well now once again I'm liking that there are the white um, highlights that I'm not totally um, coloring in like these bits although see I say I like white and then I go back in and get rid of it but I am adding, adding a second layer here. It was just a little light. And if you want to get any of those interior bits, just to, just to show that there is a touch of a background. Do you know what I almost want to do? I want to put a second layer of terracotta because those daisies are looking really pink. Which is good because that is now dry and I can now go in. I haven't added any water to this so I will be able to now get a stronger layer of colour. But there is water already on this so just get... I don't mind that it's a bit streaky. Um, it's just adding that depth. Now I want to add it to all of them. Tidy-o. Oh I hate it when you go back and do something and then go, oh yeah, I want to add a bit of depth to all of it. It's the curse. Hey Lisa, it's the curse of watercolouring. You put down the first layer and go, yeah, that's great, but I'll just do this. And the more layers you add, the more depth that you get. So really, I'm just, this one's a bit, I don't know. I think I'd already put quite a nice layer, but it is, yeah, when you compare them, a bit more depth in that one. Which is fine, just, as I said, not going in as watery the second time. So it looks as though I'm adding a slightly different colour and I'm not. Okay. And I'm sort of reactivating these. They're coming up quite nicely because this was our mix of the terracotta type. Look at me getting ink everywhere. Lucky I've done all my filming for the month for my challenges. I got that finished 
last night. I am going to leave the leaves, but I am much happier with the depth of that. Oh, oh. well, I haven't got Louise here. She was here earlier while I was doing some computer work. Okay, finish with our painting. That didn't take too long. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my ribbon. Now, if you were my ribbon, you would be. That's a, oh, that's right. I've got my whole suite together in a box. Okay, so these are the terracotta tile and the old olive. We're not using the terracotta tile. We are just using the old olive. And where's my piece of paper? Terracotta tile pattern paper. Turn it over. Grab your snail. And this is where I make things super duper easy on myself. Strip on one side, strip on the other side. Stick on ribbon to said strip. And because this is, this paper has a symmetrical pattern to it, I can pretty much line it up straight. She says that and she has issues. Oh, that's because there's no adhesive there. Why isn't there adhesive there? Because I put it too low. There is a reason why it's not working, girls. Very, very simple one. Okay, now that is crooked, but that's okay. can fix that. Fold it over, stick it down, then give it a really nice rub so it adheres. I'm not using my good ribbon scissors because they're not handy and it doesn't need to be a great cut. Card base. Crush curry in lieu of the new in colour buttercup, which is on its way shortly with the new annual catalogue. Didn't know you knew, thought you were asking. Ah, right. Cindy, you do listen. Wow, I'm impressed. Hang on, you know I have one? Hang on, Cindy, are you saying I have a peripheral neuropathy or someone you know? Because I do. It's called Chaco Mari Tooth Peripheral Neuropathy. And I have had it since I was born, pretty much. But it can be, um, it can be, it's a whole family of um, disease and there are different classifications. And some people even get late onset. It's just I've got, well, me and the boys have early onset. And the boys were diagnosed much, much, much earlier than I ever was. Because my mum went, yeah, they're doing what you did as a little baby. And I went, hmm, okay, I'll look into that. So, yeah, there you go. Right, stick that down and you'll be so sad not to see me struggle tying a bow as well because I prepared one earlier. At least I think I did. I just don't know where I put it. Oh, mate, no, you're going to have to see me actually tie a bow. But I'll give you some tips. Since I didn't die cut, 
I'll show you that. So everything is just getting glued down flat because I've left, oh, maybe I did, no, I did dimensionalize that, but I'm going to stick everything flat now. Because the edges of this are lacy, there is dimension without being extra dimension. Hopefully I'm not talking gobbledygook there. Um, I just want to roughly centre it. You know, handmade, not hall mark and all. Okay. So, you know, they look equally as good. You can still see there's dimension there. There's just a touch more dimension on this one. Finished with our glue lid on. Hello, Miss J Jamie Ramsey. You miss my beautiful watercolouring. Oh, I've missed a story about Cindy. Uh, it's the nurse in you that you remember. Hey, Roz. Yeah, I know. You poke fun, Jenny. It's okay. I got thick skin. Ah. Oh, wow. Sure, you're glad you're not in that job anymore. Or not quite at this stage, but... Yeah, so... Ow. Now what, this has a particular name because it's a particular type of ribbon. And it is, no, just ribbon combo. Doesn't even tell me what type of ribbon it is. But it's really nice soft ribbon. It does have a bit of a sheen. And it's really, really easy to tie because it is so soft. So my trick for tying a bow is... You never want to turn, like I don't want to turn the ribbon. I want to keep everything as flat as possible. So I pinch here to make my first loop. Then keeping it flat and not turning it as I go, I go around my finger and then I push, I create a second loop. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to show this a number of times till I get it to work. And I create a second loop and pull it through. And then, without losing the end, just keeping it. This one wants to move. Yeah, right. So then, when we get to this point, what I do. I haven't pulled this knot very tight. I just keep pulling it down and up, just gradually pulling it tighter and tighter. And I don't pinch these ends because if I pinch the ends, you lose the volume in your bow. I mean, this has lost a little bit of volume because it's been sitting with other cards, but I don't like seeing the crease so that's probably my final pull through and then I just pull it a bit smaller zhuzh the ends a bit and that is my bow done so because I have tied it off the roll I'm probably going to lose a couple of inches of ribbon rather than losing double that so there's your tutorial Miss J and it's on our beautiful shimmery white because it's so beautiful so I love that the shimmery white is in the paper so I don't need to then go in with Winker Stella it adds the prettiness without um this side or the I think I want to go this side today um, it adds the prettiness and shimmer without me having to do anything and because it's such a fantastic paper um, it takes watercolor as well without so it's I can use watercolor on a smooth where the watercolor paper 
does have a rough surface to it where this paper is totally smooth and takes water colouring really well. I am so not able to string a sentence. When can, uh, where can we listen to Lachlan? Oh, I've actually, po hey Di, um, I've actually posted it here. I'd say two posts ago. I posted it uh, about an hour and a half, two hours ago. Here, um, just as my little acknowledgement here on my business page of um, Anzac Day and our service men and women. Would you believe I'm almost through all of this, this roll again. This is my second rolls of these ribbons. Hey, Marjean. Oh, thank you, Roz. Oh, I'm so glad he made his mama cry. When he was practicing yesterday, I was getting very emotional. So emotional, Di and um, Jamie, I had to ring Nay. And go, he's making me emotional. And then I made her cry again this morning because that's my specialty, making that one cry. Okay. Pop these away. I am going to grab my torch. Turn it on. It's your favourite colour, Jamie. Okay, so need to. So, looks pretty, looks lovely. But when you put the torch on it, you can see that shimmy. It's in the paper. It's not loose. It's just there. So hopefully you could see that. I don't know. I try. Yes, I know. So nice and shiny and shimmery. So, and I just love the colours together. I wouldn't necessarily put these kinds of colours together, but because Stampin' Up! have done it and it looks good, it makes me a little braver to do it myself. So, as I said, for the card base, I did, I've also done this card with a mint macaron um, base, and if I use mint macaron as a base, I would use terracotta tile as the ribbon. Okay, so what we've used, can't find my stitch rectangles dies, but I did use the stitch rectangles dies. I used ornate layers. I used our pretty ribbons, or our pretty ribbon, and the ornate style stamp set. And these are our colours. So not oh, an aqua painter, because I did lots of painting. And that's our card. It's amazing how that one's... I know, I know, I know. And I think so far I've used coloured pencils on this stamp set. I've used blends. I have used watercolouring like this. Um, what else have I done? And I've just left it plain with the splatter. I've done that too. So uh, next week is a bit of a busy one. Not sure. Oh, that's fantastic, Jenny. Thank you, Di. Um, yes, yeah, so that is this card done. Shimmer paint. Yes, I have coloured it with shimmer paint as well. You're exactly right, Jamie. That card is to come. I will show you guys how I painted um this with shimmer paint oh thank you myrtle so hoping to be back on tuesday because i'm working two days this week because i had a bit of a technologically challenged work week so i have to make up my time because i've been paid um so that is what so it's going to be a crazy week crazy week crazy week so thank you so much for joining me. Have an amazing weekend and I shall see you next time. Bye.